Welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you guys are joining me today. I must say one of the greatest things that took place last year was Elon Musk buying Twitter and just the amount of fun he brought back to the platform. And of course, revealing how desperate that the U.S. government was to uh, to curtail freedom of speech by using these private companies such as Twitter. And I'm sure uh, Google and YouTube and Instagram, Facebook as well to curb uh, your ability to be able to speak your mind. And then again, uh, for people that were going against the narrative and going against the propaganda that was putting out there, those people were targeted by the U.S. government. So the biggest biggest story last year was probably Elon Musk purchasing Twitter and revealing much of the stuff that took place underneath the hood. And we're you know very grateful that take place. And he continues to troll just about everybody out there. And recently he decided to go ahead uh, during the FIFA World Cup, put out a poll discussing, should I remain the CEO of Twitter, and I will abide by the result of this poll. And the people voted, no, they did not want to, him to continue as the CEO. So he said he would start looking for a CEO. And yesterday, he tweeted out that he has a replacement CEO. So before we dive into today's story, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button. If you're new here, thank you for joining me. Allow me to share some info with you. Hopefully, you can share it with your friends and family. Smash that like button, 300 likes. And if you like the content, you like the video, you like the channel, Smash that super thanks as well. So let's kind of dive into what we have here coming to us from the Gateway Pundit. And it says this, Elon Musk introduces the unexpected new CEO of Twitter, claims he is better than Prague uh, Argwald. <laughs> Anybody would have been better than that dude. Back in December, Elon Musk announced that he would step down as Twitter's CEO after a poll he conducted didn't turn out in his favor. And so... um and so Elon said he would resign as Twitter's chief executive as soon as someone foolish enough was to take on the job. Once he finds his replacement, Musk said he would return to the software and server teams. I will resign as CEO as soon as I find someone foolish enough, he said, to take the job. On Tuesday, Elon Musk surprised everyone by appointing the new CEO of Twitter. And he claims that this person is superior to Prague Ogwad. Elon Musk trolled the internet by jokingly introducing his pet dog, uh, Floki, the sh uh, sh Shahibi Innu, as the new CEO of Twitter. Oh, my gosh. Yes, this is what Elon does, does best. He sits there and he uh, trolls Twitter and everything else. The new CEO. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's that's the type of that's the type of great entertainment you get over on Twitter now because of Elon Musk. Uh, yeah, that 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 Twitter dog, the uh, the Doge uh, dog, if you will. A lot of people recognize the dog from Doge, uh, Dogecoin. Is uh, is exactly would be a better CEO than any other person he would probably name anyway. At least the dog wouldn't censor anybody, right? The dog would be uh, willing to allow free speech to blossom on the platform. Anyway, this was a way of Elon uh, uh, basically thumbing his nose at the uh, at the globalists who continued to want him to suppress free speech on the platform, and uh, for him to step aside and allow the the uh, globalists to once again take control of the company of Twitter, so it can be just like all the other companies who continue to to suppress freedom of speech. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I thought it was pretty hilarious and funny. <laughs> let me know what you guys think. Uh, you guys can follow me over on uh, Odyssey, Gab, and Twitter, all linked in the description down below. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, and of course, and of course, I'll talk to you guys a little later. Have a great, great day.